everyone welcome back to my channel my name is justine if you are new here we are just starting out in the laundry room getting all of this started i just wanted to throw in the load of whites that we kind of just had laying around the house i was getting ready to go visit my family so i just was kind of tidying up around the house and i was still working during the week i am a working mom i have three small children and my husband's military so our life is a little busy so i am always trying to find ways to maintain my house and keep up with my house especially with how busy the work weeks can get if you are new here, that is what my channel is all about, cleaning, decorating, DIY projects, and overall homemaking for a busy mom with a chaotic schedule. So if you are interested in all of the motivation and some projects around the house, we just replaced our kitchen countertops and we redid this laundry room. Just a small little touch up because I'm a mom balling on a budget always. But we are tackling so many things in today's video, just getting certain areas picked up. I'm not doing really a deep clean in today's video, but I am tackling those messier places in my house like all of these books that my kids think that need to be all over the floor and not on their bookshelf I don't I don't get it so we're picking up in here really quick before we head downstairs and tackle some of the kitchen I do have a grocery haul for you guys today and some fridge and pantry organization coming up later so please stay until the end I appreciate you guys so much either kick back and relax and watch along with me or come and clean with me I know that we all need that motivation sometimes let's get into it I am officially retiring my trash cabinet that I've had for about two or three years. I just felt like it was hard to clean because I have to take it apart completely to clean underneath it because the kids miss the trash can way too often. 
and I just had always had to scrub it and clean it and get in all the nooks and crannies. So I just wanted something simple and I have been looking for a while. I'm so thankful that EKO reached out to me and they offered me this deluxe Mirage T touchless rectangular motion sensor trash can. I was not expecting what I received. I opened it up and it all came together, which was amazing. I love something that's hassle free. You don't have to put it all together. It really takes no fuss, no mess, and you just put it out but you do have to put the batteries in and it came with trash can bags so that's amazing it uses premium motion sensor technology to experience the smoothest most seamless lid opening and closing and for someone who has kids the anti-fingerprint stainless steel finish keeps your space clean and stylish and especially keeps those kids hands prints all over the trash can so you're not cleaning more stainless steel yes you still have to wipe down your trash can but it is supposed to help mitigate that issue for you and it is sleek and durable and I thought it was very cute for this little area back here. It doesn't take up much space, but it does have 25% more capacity in the bin, which is amazing because we obviously are going through so many trash bags. We're always taking out trash with three kids and two dogs. It's a never ending cycle. It does have a long lasting power, so that's amazing. And they take double A batteries and can last up to eight months of use. And it can stay open by clicking the open button and the close button, or you can just swipe your hand over it and it will open. It has a soft close lid, so you don't have to worry about your baby smashing their fingers in there. And it is supposed to lock in those smells and not let them kind of permeate because of the carbon filter that they put inside the trash can. So there are just so many nice things about this. I like that you cannot see the overhang of the trash bag from the outside. It looks sleek, it looks modern, and it takes up so little space. So if you are looking for a new trash can, definitely check out this EKO brand on Amazon. I will have the link down below for you guys to go over and check it out. It is truly amazing. I love using it and I've had it for about three weeks now and it works so well. I haven't had any issues and I mean it's a trash can. It gets the job done but it also looks good doing it. I'm out of reasons. I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless
talking to each other I know we feel the same About the situation Like we're stuck inside a game Time to get out of this circle Yeah, we both carry a scar Let's rewrite the part we're playing Time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Or, oh, or, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away All right, so I have a little grocery haul. It's been a while since I did this on my channel, but I just needed some deodorant. Really quick, some cookies and cream ice cream because that's all my son eats. He's six. Whole bunch of drinks for the kids <laughs> because we are completely out of all of the drinks. Some more spray for cooking. I got these little applesauce pouches because they're just so much easier for the kids. Some Go-Gurt cotton candies. Of course, some gummies for my four-year-old. And then I actually really like these protein bars because they only have what's on them in them. That's it. This is all that is in them so you don't get all the extra additives. And they are great before you go in for a workout. Um, I was out of Nespresso pods and my Kroger actually carries Nespresso pods now. So I got those. My kids love the Swiss rolls and then I got those for my older daughter. Some sweet potatoes. Always need to have those on hand. All of the bread. English muffins are great for fiber, egg whites, almond milk, and whole milk for the kids. I am trying these out for the first time because I've seen them everywhere and they are supposed to be really healthy, but it's kind of like, what are those things? I don't know what they're called. I can't think of them right now. Slim Jims. Some sushi because I'm hungry. These are really good and they're not that bad and fat or anything like that. Some shrimp. I always keep that on hand. It's a low fat food. And then I buy these because they're just easy in the morning for work. And you just throw some like life milk in there and then throw them in the microwave for a minute and they're good to go. And then just some blueberries and maple syrup. Great. They're really good. Some ranch because my kids love them. Paper plates, tortillas for tacos because we have those probably once a week. And I'm going to try this peanut butter out. I got two different kinds because I've been really liking peanut butter and jellies lately. Uh, I can't get it to focus. Some Greek yogurt, awesome to have on hand. It's high in protein, low in fat. Lettuce, asparagus, tomatoes, and then some strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. And then we have some dog food. And that's it. So I'm just going to put all this stuff away really quick, and that will be it. emotions the first step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway but that's just the place to start the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh oh yeah now it's time for something better and time for us to follow our dreams no we can't stay no more pantry isn't too bad but I didn't get to it before I went grocery shopping so I'm just working on it as I go pulling things out that need a little bit of fixing like some of it's a mess but I don't have a whole bunch of toast in here so like what we have is what I have right now so I'm just going to kind of tackle some of this just a little bit more
how this is beautiful. Yeah. About time we let things go. Is this our destiny? Just like it was meant to be. Yeah. apologize again that I've been struggling to get videos out. Um, my work schedule has been crazy. My kids' lives have been crazy. Sports have been crazy. And then we also took a vacation to go see my family while over Easter spring break for the kids. So they are there. And then like my husband was gone during that time. He's, hopefully he's back by now, but still it's just like crazy how quick and fast time goes. And I feel like I never have enough time to do anything anymore but I'm getting this video out. I promise you I'm trying to do two videos a week. I should be getting back to that soon, but I'm just trying my best to get at least one out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I kind of want to just do my highs and lows of the week. My high has got to see my family. I love spending time with my family. My low is that my nutrition kind of took the back seat when I'm on like vacation in a way. So I have to get back on track. I really have to start focusing and getting ready for my bikini body because it's it's been slacking this winter months. Even though I have been doing pretty good, I still have not been doing great with nutrition and I just need to get back on it. So I plan to meal prep when I get back and I just all the things. So yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let me know down in the comments what your highs and lows are. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution.
One thing that I'm so happy that I bought was this shoe cabinet. It really does organize all of the kids' shoes. It did go viral on TikTok with like 4 million views. And it does fit my shoes and my husband's shoes in it, just not a lot of our shoes. I only have like our everyday shoes in here. And then I have the rest upstairs in my closet or like on our mud rack if they're outdoor boots. If they get muddy, they don't go in here, obviously. You clean them. But I felt like this was a really good solution for the entryway. I'm busting out my vacuum mop. It's just Tinko. It's an affordable one that I got from Walmart one night. It's whatever they had in hand. It is not the newest version, but I'm telling you what, it works so much better than my Crosswave did. And it's cordless. It's really easy and simple and lightweight. And I just go around. And for someone who is busy like me, this is a lifesaver. I can pull it out probably twice a week and I vacuum mop at the same time. And it just makes my life so much easier. If you are a mom or dad who is so busy, make sure you have an option like this that vacuum mops or even just a cordless vacuum because it makes it so much easier and simple for you to get out and just hurry up and do it really quick or if you are in such a rush maybe look into one of those robot vacuums especially if you have um, mostly hardwoods downstairs or wherever and you would like a robot vacuum I feel like it works so great especially on carpet sometimes you just have to look at specs for them and then also like if there's a mopping function oh my gosh yes I'm still looking for one I just cannot afford a robo rock or I think there's like one on here that's like a narwhal I think that's what it's called but yes if you're looking for a quick simple solution to help maintain your floors that's an awesome way
And that will bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of this cleaning motivation, got some ideas for your own home and are out there tackling those home projects that you have been putting off. But I want to say a special shout out to EKO for sending me that trash can. I'm in love with it. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys will come back every single time I post because it means the world to me that you are here. And I hope you guys are having a great week with your family or you had a great Easter and I'll see you guys back next time.